And here's the recipe for an Indian tikka masala curry. Four servings, store them in the fridge and I microwave them really quickly when I want them. Starting to introduce tofu into my recipes because soya protein reduces cholesterol. That's what tofu looks like and it doesn't taste of anything. So you have to add it to strong flavors. So here's the prep. This is what you've got to prepare in advance of cooking. And then it comes together really quickly. You can see how rough, roughly chop, chopped the vegetables are. Now you have the Epicure do a nice range of mixed beans. Pataks do a great paste, tikka masala paste, and there's the coconut milk. I tried red meat in this one, 150 grams, so not a lot of red meat. The rest of the protein is going to come from the beans and come from the tofu. Add extra flavor with coriander, extra garlic if you like it. So heat your saucepan first, and then when it's heated, add your olive oil. Shake the saucepan round to heat the olive oil. Then you add everything just like that, straight from the board, throw it all in, mix it up. Now it will stick to the pan, so add 50 ml of water and then allow that to cook, stir it every now and again, and you can see there it evaporates. When the water has evaporated, add the paste, mix it well. Turn down the heat a bit, add the coconut milk, mix it well. That's your curry basically done. Bring it to a bubble heat because when you add raw meat, yeah, there could be bacteria on the meat, so you want to kill off any bacteria. This is a fantastic way to cook raw meat. So there's your red meat. When the rawness is sorted, disappeared, add the beans, add the finely chopped coriander. Then you add the tofu. Now it can split up easily, so just drop it in, shake the pan, and it'll keep its shape. If you like extra heat, get a scotch bonnet chili lethal so be very careful with it turn the heat down to two put the lid on the saucepan and let it there for about 30 minutes for everything to fuse simplest curry ever and so tasty add some more spinach and tender stem broccoli for fiber